Hi everyone. So, um, like I said, taking easy, but we'll do a video every now and then outside the minor schedule I currently have. And th this is something I should talk about. It is we have the official title for Star Wars Episode Eight, uh, and the title is Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. So, right off the bat, what do I think about the title? I like that title. That's a pretty good. I like it more than I liked The Force Awakens. Something about The Force Awakens title now i like it fine but something about the force awakens title didn't flow right to me it, it some, something didn't sound right when i originally heard the uh title for the force awakens but it grew on me and all that this one i actually i generally like the title because i like it for what it says and in their official uh tweet about it when they officially reeled it says the continuation of the skywalker storyline well we know leia's in the movie we know luke's in the movie is Rey a Skywalker or not? We'll find that out. Is Finn a Skywalker? I, again, I'm usually wrong with these theories now that I'm really um, looking at it. Like when I was wrong about Split and all that. And I'm probably wrong about the Finn being Skywalker. But I will hold out till the end. Um, <clears throat> what was going on? Sorry. So, um, but it's a two-year-wish in the Skywalker story. I mean that uh, it's, Skywalkers are going to be heavily present in the movie. And when you have a movie called The Last Jedi... We can assume that Luke is going to be an extremely large foe, one probably one of the main focuses of the movie. In fact, even some of the actors and people, I think uh, Gareth Edward, who worked, who did this one, have come out and said that a big primary focus of the movie will be the relationship between Rey and Luke, how they interact off each other, what Luke's been doing on that island, uh, or what he was doing on that island, what he's been doing over the past 30 years. All of this uh, is going to be a big focus on, and what maybe we'll and we'll see what Luke's personality over the years has become like is he grizzled is he still got a sense of humor about things is he um has he got maybe a little not dark side mind you but has he dabbled a little bit in his force abilities not just light but some dark is he like more of a gray jedi now um but also the title a lot of people are expecting what the last jedi is going really means is it the last jedi like is ray going to be the last jedi is Luke, either referring to Luke, who is at the moment the last Jedi, is Jedi, pl I heard one of Collider today, is Jedi plural, because, you know, you don't say Jedis, you just say Jedi, for plural for Jedi, so is it more like there's multiple Jedis, uh, and those are just the three theories I know right off the top of my head, <clears throat> or three ideas right off the top of my head, if I were to give my opinion on those three, I'd, I, I could honestly say, I do, like, 95% certain it's not going to be last Jedi as in plural haters hey, more Jedi. I feel confident when they say the last Jedi that they are talking about Luke who is the last Jedi and will be the big one of the big focuses of the film. And there might be some reference to Rey in that that Rey is going to be learning the ways of the Force, learning how to be a Jedi as Luke did from Yoda. Now, are we going to get a scene in this movie where she does not her complete her training and um, go to whatever ever to fight Kylo and get her ass kicked and hand cut off like Kylo, like Luke did with Yoda? I think that would be a bit too much of a, a repetition of the past, but ooh, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to diss it, per se. Uh, I, well, I'm not going to diss it, but I definitely call it out for being just, just like really, just really... Luckily, they've gone through most of the old tropes uh, with uh, Force Awakens as it is. I mean, they repeated the Death Star, repeated uh, Luke's origin story a little bit with Rey, um, the, wi the wise old mentor, plans for a new station, the droid, um, you know, fighting, uh, you know, to the air, the space battle over the, over the planet or on the planet, um... You know, the canteen, uh, all the, they've replayed, we've done so many of the tropes already that I feel confident they are not going to, uh, if there are any tropes left to do, which I think there are, um, it, right off the top of my head, I can't name any, I mean, um, like the train, okay, like the training thing, that's kind of like a rip off of Empire, but not really, most of these types of movies where a person's discovering their ability, meet the wise mentor to train them, will have a training montage, or a train, or scenes involving training, so, that, that's nothing to really, um, uh, get uh <clears throat> get on the movie's case about don't know if we'll get like a gangster's den of uh thieves and scoundrels like Jabba's palace uh no idea if we're gonna get like a force moment we're gonna get ewoks at all no idea if 
one sorry, sorry. One, no idea if we're going to get like the final, uh, like a Cloud City esque battle between. I know Ky Kylo and Rey are probably going to fight again in this movie. Maybe Kylo and Luke will square off. Oh, man. I, like so many, are waiting for Luke to just pull out that classic lightsaber and just. I want to. You know what I want to see with Luke? I kind of want to see a Luke Skywalker combat scene <clears throat> where the Knights of Ren try to take him on. And. In the liking of that spoilers, so five, four, three, two, one. Don't get spoiled if you haven't seen Rogue One yet. The Yano run, the Vader scene. I want to see a Luke Skywalker scene, kind of in the vein of the Vader scene from um from the from at the very end of the movie. That's what I want to see. That would be epic. It obviously takes some things into consideration. Like he's not going to be like force choking in the bit. I don't think he would. be. he did technically a little bit in the uh, Return of the Jedi, but um. Yeah, obviously good version obviously luke skywalker's interpretation of that but still just wrecking shop would got i would love to see that that would be awesome uh who knows if we'll get it though but uh overall i like this title a lot um it's not my favorite title. i think the empire strikes back is the best title of them maybe return of the jedi um because honestly i mean i think i even did this at one point um you know like a new hope it, it, New Hope is good. Empire, I think, is the best. Return, though, might tie it. But then you get the Phantom Menace, which is not a bad title, but it's just... It's, it loses something a little bit. Though the Phantom Menace is very interesting uh, in terms of what does it mean. Uh, Attack of the Clones, that's just a boring title. That's just a dumb title. And then Revenge of the Sith. I, it's the whole movie. I mean, it's the best of the three, but it's... Uh, in terms of the prequels, but I don't know if it's the best title. I think Phantom Menace might be a little better in terms of a title. And then Force Awakens, I wasn't huge on, but I grew on, it grew on me. So, but I I like this one. Um, and whatever it means, it, it is whatever it means. When do we get the trailer? Well, I think a lot, like a lot of people are saying they're gonna wait till Celebration, Star Wars Celebration for that. But I wouldn't be surprised. What? Give me one second, actually. What does Disney have coming out? Uh, because if they're going to, well, first off, they're going to release it online beforehand. But if they're going to release it, it's going to be attached to a movie. Uh, what movies do we have for Disney coming out right now? We, uh, let's see, Space Between Us? Nope. 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 Beauty and the Beast would be the best, the, the most, uh, the closest one to put it on, or uh, attach it to, at least until Guardians of the Galaxy. Um... So if we get it before Celebration, it'll be attached to Beauty and the Beast, I'm calling it. But if not, it'll be at Celebration, then pop online, and then we'll get it attached to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So that's that's the way I see it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Put, put your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to see them, or I'd love to read them. Um, as always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Um, if you have any ideas for videos, uh, who would win? What if videos? Star Wars? Superhero videos? magic videos basically all the videos that i do basically on the channel i'm saying basically that all the videos that i do and all the playlists that i do if you have ideas for those videos please put those in the comments below it saves me time for having to create my own content <laughs> well that's not true it say it saves me time uh from thinking uh from using the ideas I've already written down it allows me to save them for another day so i have more videos to do uh and yeah there will be i will oh i will do the academy award those nominations are uh, nominations those come out tomorrow um so there will be a video for that who would win i'm probably going to pre-record tomorrow because i got tomorrow off and it'll be up on wednesday i haven't decided yet what the who would win's going to be but it's going to be one someone has suggested to me already because i haven't done one of those in a while so i figured you know give a shout out to the fans who do give me the suggestions which i again very much appreciate but anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoy it. i'll see you folks